What connects an ancient jail, a lush garden, and a beacon walk? These are all cork gems, each with its own fascinating story. And why do people flock to a tiny Irish town to kiss a stone? There's more to this story, especially when you hear that Cork is also home to a Star Wars filming location. Stay with us to uncover how galactic sagas and ancient legends come together in this enchanting part of Ireland. Hello explorers, welcome to another exciting adventure. In this episode, we're exploring Cork, where stories of space and old legends mix beautifully in Ireland's scenic area. Dublin, the capital of Ireland, is renowned for its historical depth and vibrant urban life. But Cork provides an even more appealing atmosphere with its relaxed environment, welcoming inhabitants, and magnificent landscapes. Situated approximately 260 kilometers from Dublin, the capital of Ireland, traveling to Cork requires around 2.5 to 3 hours by car or bus. Now let's check out the top spots in Cork and discover some activities that you're definitely going to love. First off, let's dive into the Barra Peninsula. Nestled between Bantry Bay and the Kenmare River, this spot is a feast for the eyes. Whether you're hiking through its rugged landscape or driving the Ring of Barra, you're in for a treat. The peninsula is framed by the Caja and Sleeve Miskish Mountains, offering endless opportunities for exploration. Dedicate a week to the Barra Way Trail if you can. It's a hiker's dream. Plus, the area is dotted with charming coastal villages and some of the best spots for wild camping in Cork. Next up, Mizen Head is a must visit. Often topping the list of Cork's attractions, the signal station here was built to safeguard sailors near Ireland's southwestern tip. The Maritime Museum is a great starting point, followed by a thrilling walk across the arched bridge. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll be excited to know that nearby Browhead had its moment of fame in the franchise. Stay with us until the end of the video as we'll dive deeper into this fascinating story. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so we'll keep you in the loop on our latest guides and adventures. Continuing our journey, we've got Bantry House and Gardens, a stunning estate overlooking Bantry Bay. Open to the public since 1946, it offers a glimpse into the life of the Earls of Bantry. The gardens are immaculate and there is a tea room where you can relax after a stroll. What sets this place apart is the breathtaking view of the house against the backdrop of the bay from an elevated spot. It's definitely a scene you'll want to capture. Moving on, Cork's coastline is home to some truly stunning beaches each with its own charm and appeal. Inchidani Beach, a perennial favorite among visitors and locals alike, is known for its soft, golden sands and excellent surfing conditions. Garrettstown Beach also draws crowds, especially surfers and families looking for a fun day out by the sea. For those seeking a more secluded spot, Warren Beach is a hidden gem, offering tranquility and a chance to escape the bustle. Now, do you know why Cork is special? It's known for Blarney Castle, an iconic landmark that goes beyond the usual tourist path. While many flock here to kiss the famous Blarney Stone, hoping to gain the gift of eloquence, there's so much more to this historic site. The castle grounds are a breathtaking sight, offering the perfect setting for a leisurely walk. Among its intriguing features is the Witch's Kitchen, a spot shrouded in mystery and charm. The tradition of kissing the Blarney Stone stems from a legend that it bestows the gift of eloquence or persuasive speaking upon those who kiss it. This belief dates back centuries and has made the stone a symbol of Ireland's rich folklore and history. Positioned 85 feet above ground, reaching it means climbing over 100 narrow steps. The process involves lying on your back, holding onto iron bars, and leaning back to plant a kiss on the stone, all for the legendary ability to speak smoothly and persuasively. Beyond this unique tradition, Blarney Castle is surrounded by lush gardens that tell their own stories. The Arboretum houses rare tree species, while mystical rock formations like the Witch's Kitchen and the Wishing Steps add to the site's allure. 
don't miss the Bog Garden with its ancient yew trees and serene waterfall. In spring, the Twin Lime Tree Avenues offer a peaceful retreat with a soothing sound of rustling leaves. A more eerie attraction is the Poison Garden, established in 2010. With over 70 types of toxic plants, including henbane and hemlock, and even cannabis, it's a fascinating yet cautionary display. Visitors are warned not to touch, smell, or eat any plants, as some are kept in iron cages for safety. Despite its size, the Poison Garden remains one of the castle's most visited spots. Now let's turn our attention to the cities and towns that define Cork's vibrant character. Cork City stands out as a lively center of culture and activity. With its mix of art galleries, unique museums, and cozy coffee shops, it's a hub of creativity and history. Highlights include the historic Cork City Jail and the breathtaking views from Elizabeth Fort. Food lovers will revel in the English market, flanked by some of Cork's oldest pubs and premier restaurants. Glengariff, a picturesque town by Bantry Bay, acts as a serene gateway to the wild Atlantic Way. Its natural beauty and the enchanting Garnish Island make it a peaceful retreat from the bustling city life. Clonakilty, affectionately known as Mighty Clon, enchants visitors with its colorful facades and local flavors. From the scenic Inchidani Beach to the innovative Clonakilty Distillery, it's a town that blends tradition with modernity. Lastly, Cope's historical significance, Victorian architecture, and maritime activities paint the picture of Cork's rich past and vibrant present. Whether exploring the Titanic experience or enjoying the town's gastronomic delights, Cobe offers a memorable glimpse into the essence of Cork. Cork offers a diverse array of activities to suit all interests. The Baltimore Beacon Walk is a favorite for an easy stroll, offering stunning sunset views. Starting from the historic Dunne Shade or after grabbing a coffee at Glebe Gardens, the path leads you through picturesque landscapes to the beacon, a perfect spot for photography enthusiasts. For breathtaking coastal scenes, the Belly Cotton Cliff Walk is a hidden treasure in East Cork, offering panoramic views of the ocean and the unique Black Lighthouse. It's an immersive experience into Ireland's natural beauty, suitable for all with a moderate fitness level but remember, it's not accessible for wheelchairs or bikes. On rainy days, Cork City Jail presents a fascinating journey into the 19th and early 20th centuries, offering insights into Cork's history through a self-guided tour. It's an intriguing indoor alternative. For a scenic drive, Healy Pass winds through the Caja Mountains on the Barra Peninsula, offering surreal landscapes reminiscent of another planet, often with few other visitors around. And for wildlife enthusiasts, Whale-watching tours of the Cork Coast provide an opportunity to spot sea creatures from basking sharks to purposes. It's a thrilling way to experience Cork's marine biodiversity, promising memories that last a lifetime. As a surprise for sticking with us until the end, we've got a special spot you shouldn't miss. Browhead, near Crookhaven in West Cork, is not only renowned for its dramatic landscapes but also as a filming location for Star Wars The Last Jedi. This headland, marking the most southerly point of Ireland, offers unparalleled views of the Atlantic Ocean and Barley Cove Beach, famed for its stunning sunsets and rugged cliffs. Despite its proximity to Crookhaven and famous beaches, Browhead's remote feel gives a sense of standing at the world's end. Filming for the Star Wars saga here in 2016 highlighted its otherworldly atmosphere, making it a significant point of interest for both movie fans and nature lovers. To visit, it's advisable to park near Galley Cove Beach and walk up as parking by Browhead is limited and the narrow access road can be challenging for passing cars. Remember, the cliffs are high with sheer drops and no barriers, so stay back for safety. Waterproof footwear is essential as the area is exposed to winds and the elements. 
Cork, Ireland is a treasure filled with incredible landscapes, friendly faces, and stories that bridge the gap between ancient history and modern tales, proving it's a destination worth exploring. What has been your favorite part of our Cork adventure? And what are you most excited to see or do? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we're exploring Greece, looking at its old ruins and peaceful monasteries. Stay tuned for our next video to learn more about Greece's history and beautiful places.